Since the Industrial Revolution, large-scale operations have transformed our way of life, but they've brought devastating consequences for our planet too. With the industrial sector responsible for over 30% of global energy-related emissions, industry needs to decarbonize faster if we are to reach our net zero goals. So the 2020s really need to be the electric decade. The good news is technologies and solutions that are available today can help speed up the clean energy transition. So why is it vital that we decarbonize industry? Let's take the example of a mobile phone or a car, typical consumer goods. In each of those components or products, you will find plastic, you will find metals, you will find chips. All these components are relatively energy intensive to produce. So that means we have to focus on the energy intensive industries to really decarbonize the whole chain. I think today we have the technologies. So when you compare it 30 years before, already had sensors, we had solar panels, we had wind turbines, we had batteries. However, over the years, these kind of technologies have become much, much more available and affordable. So today there is no excuse anymore. What we really need to see now is industry taking a step forward to de-risk from fossil fuels and to move towards the suite of zero carbon solutions that are available today. If industry wants to accelerate its decarbonization pathway, electrification can play a key role. It's cleaner and smarter, allowing the deployment of other decarbonization solutions. About 30% of the carbon footprint comes from heavy industry. And the reason is because more than 80% of them are not electrified. So direct electrification is going to play a crucial and central role and it's one of the key pillars in the suite of solutions that will be required to remove fossil fuel use from most heavy industries. So you can move these processes that are fundamental to many of the manufacturing efforts and turn them into a zero carbon pathway. We need to move to far more electrification because electrification is efficiency. But how can industrial businesses ensure the electricity they need is both from renewable sources and won't overload the local grid infrastructure? In order to scale up electrification on the demand side, you also need to address the supply side. And so a lot of the industries are trying to figure out right now how exactly do they access the clean power? One of them is through direct procurement with clean power producers, and the other is through microgrids. So a microgrid is typically a smaller deployment of renewable energy resource, plus some batteries often, um, that enables the user to consume that energy directly. But it essentially means you're deploying and building your own renewables for your own use, which often, particularly for very large users, can help you manage your energy needs, but also manage some of your costs as well. Microgrids enable resiliency, which is critical for industrial processes. They enable decarbonization through use of more renewable energy. They also enable savings by enabling strategies such as peak shaving to be able to reduce the overall consumption. When a process is electrified, you're able to control it in a more refined fashion. You're able to measure so you're able to digitize the process. Digitalization is a key to achieve sustainability goals because it gives you the transparency. So you start to measure certain things and then you also start to improve and you save more and more consumption of energy. When industries start to invest in digital and start to invest in more efficiency and electrification, they're going to reduce their overall energy consumption and in turn, it's going to be an economic value proposition for them. Data-driven insights from digitized industrial processes are key to driving down carbon use and boosting sustainability. Without data, no clear business decision to be done. Without data, you don't know where you stand. The IoT platforms play the role of digitalization in the sense of making data transparent and making the analytics. An IoT platform means I'm collecting data from sensors, I clean the data, I store the data, and then I make analytics on it. 
the Schneider Electric Smart Factory in Lexington, Kentucky, leveraged IoT connectivity with power meters and predictive analytics to optimize energy costs and drive sustainability. So there might be manufacturing enterprises integrated. We can make predictive maintenance on certain equipment. We have power management for the energy distribution. And then we are collecting from the employees' IDs through a digital tool. And in this digital tool, every employee can bring in his IDs based also on where he's positioned in the shop floor. So if I have a customer in the US, I can bring him to Lexington and say, hey, look, this is how we have applied it. A vast amount of energy is wasted in this sector's energy intensive processes, making efficiency an important part of its decarbonization pathway. Energy efficiency has been a central pillar of much of our efforts around decarbonization broadly. It's now critical for industrial decarbonization as well. Dealing with efficiency is very important at the moment where the energy price is going up. And usually you need to do some investments, first of all, to really see where you are losing efficiency and then to really gain efficiency. And when we avoid cost and waste, that is something that is passed down to consumers. If that's decarbonized as well, what we've got is a more compelling reason for people to decarbonize. Mulino Marino is a customer of us in Italy. Seven, eight years ago, we made projects with them to optimize some of the production lines. Now they came back to us and said, hey, we need even more. We want to get more efficient, more resilient in our processes. We want to switch from manual to digital. So there is now more efficiency in the processes. They have a better backup plan in case of a breakdown. They have the data available digitally, no manual processes anymore. It's not just the production processes that need to be decarbonized. The industrial sector has a vast global supply chain that also desperately needs to embrace net zero solutions. Recent studies showed that carbon emissions from supply chains were 11 times more than carbon emissions from operations. So clearly supply chain is a big focus for us behind driving decarbonization. Electrification and digitization play an important role in decarbonizing these supply chains by virtue of the fact that they can actually directly reduce the potential emissions profile by removing fossil fuel use. And it can also enable better monitoring, tracking, and that we're operating systems properly. We can get started now and we can work together to be able to learn from each other to really drive the acceleration for the next five to 10 to 15 years. I think the world compared to 30 years ago has realized it's now really, really urgent to make those things happen for climate change. Otherwise, we are missing the train here for our next generation. If industries and their vast supply chains can embrace a more electric and digital world, a greener industrial future is within our grasp. However, with the transport sector accounting for over 20% of global CO2 emissions, its decarbonization is vital in order to reach our climate goals. In the next episode, we explore how smart sustainable infrastructure and increased electrification can propel us towards a net zero future.